Young people, the great generation. I say young, when I say say, I mean. So when you see that, and B is for voter, and some of you may not be old enough to vote. You can influence your Democrat. Well, Black Lives Matter is a uh, Democrat organization. You can see where the funding goes in Black Lives Matter. It all goes to Democrats to keep them in power. The Democrats have been keeping the black people down by keeping liquor stores on every corner, Planned Parenthood in the minority communities, infiltrating drugs and guns into those communities, and incentivizing fatherless homes through welfare. Okay? That is what is going on. And then they're going to pander to them so that they keep getting their vote so they can stay in power. That's my view on it. All right. You're so brave. Well, I appreciate that. But you hope President Trump should be re-elected, right? Oh, of course. Because he stands up and he stands for America. America first. All right? And there's nothing wrong with having nationalism in your country. And, you know, everybody in the world should have nationalism for their country. Okay? But here in America, it, obviously it's a melting pot. Okay? And we are here as one nation mm -hmm. under God. And... What has happened in the previous administration is God has been getting taken out of everything, all right? And our, our, our religious liberties and our, our rights are getting taken away, all right? And that's what Trump is here for. He's, that's he's giving us his back. Which one do you think is the most important for America? Oh, that's a great question. Um, well, I know he just signed, a, he, he signed an executive order, the Platinum Plan, which is going to uh, help 500,000, uh, it's going to get 500,000 jobs into minority communities and help black Americans. I'd say protecting the unborn. His, uh, his executive order that he just signed, uh, I forget the name of it, but if, if there was a, somebody goes in for, to have an abortion and the child comes out alive, all right, there's, you can't kill it. So I'm a real pro-life guy, so I'd say that executive order. Well, my friends that I hold close to me, support President Trump, but a lot of the, my peers that I am in school with and everything like that, they just, uh, they have the wool pulled over their eyes. They aren't awake, they aren't awake to what is actually happening and the, uh, the lies are being fed by the media, the mainstream media, and they, everything the mainstream media pushes is to make Trump look like he's a bad guy, when all of his policies are actually helping all of America. Prager you. Prager you. Oh, oh. Yeah, the for sure. Is, Do you watch it frequently? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I watch it a lot. Wow. From South Korea, then? Right. Okay. And you know, another thing, we say one more thing. You won't hear about the peace that President Trump is bringing to the world right now in the Middle East, but also in North Korea. The first president in American history to step foot on North Korean soil. Tell me how. Tell me how. Tell me why. You won't hear about that. Right. Chop Sugar, best president, he's going to be on Mount Rushmore. Put him on Mount Rushmore. Yeah, he's protecting our religious freedoms here for sure. Trump is not going to be KKK. No Trump. 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 No 근데 아까 이제 인터뷰 이제 해 주신 그 할아버지의 말씀대로 아 이제 이 그룹은 굉장히 소규모고요. 저기 반대에 아 프레이어 마치나 이 보수주의자들의 모임에 비하면 굉장히 소규모입니다. <목소리> 아주 뭐이 미국에서 일어나고 있는 어떤 이 정치적인 분열, 아 국가적 분열을 잘 보여주는 장면이죠. 아까가 전에 이제 이 프레이어 마치 예, 이제 아주 큰 그룹들을 제가 이렇게 좀 보여드렸는데, 근데 한편에서는 또이뭐 언론의 자유, 결사의 자유가 있는 곳이기 때문에 이 브레인 라이스 메러를 외치는 학생들이 어, 이렇게 모여가지고 어, 이렇게 뭐 이제 연설도 듣고 뭐 이렇게 이제 행진도 이렇게 하고 있습니다. 하지만 사이즈가 비교가 안 돼요. 사이즈가 비교가 안 됩니다. 네, 그런 이제 모습을 볼수 있었고, 그리고 아까 이제 그 인터뷰를 이제 한그 할아버지께서는 미디어가 
저런 어떤 조그만 것만 확대 해석해 가지고 사람들한테 보여주고 이런 어떤 큰 어떤 이제 그런 행사 보수, 기독교 보수주의자들의 행사는 절대로 이제 보여주지 않다 그런 말씀 해주셨어요.